What's going on, guys? Still come back again. Hope you are fantastic today. And as you've seen from the title, guys, yes, I can't believe it. The first teaser trailer of the FNAF movie is now out. Uh, for everybody to see the first teaser trailer of the FNAF movie already, I'm so, so excited to react to this and then go through it and then see if we can see any little details for it. Throughout the bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Guys, I'm excited, okay? Leave me alone. I just want to say a massive thank you to Scott, Blumhouse, and Universal for sending me the trailer early. This video is going to go live as soon as Jason Blum tweets it out. So yeah, Jason must have tweeted it out. So we're here. Like I said, guys, this is a teaser trailer. It's not the full trailer. This trailer is going to be shown in theaters worldwide, which is pretty crazy to think about. Uh, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe it, which is it's gone so quick, man. But yeah, teaser trailer of the FNAF movie. We'll react to it and then go through it and see if we can see anything cool. Three, two, one, play. Here we go, guys. It's been approved for appropriate audiences. Okay, this is it. This is it. Static. Welcome oh, it's a commercial. Look at the badges. Fantasy and fun. Come this is life. crazy. It, Showtime. There they are, the animatronics. Let's go. Oh, it's like the pizzeria. We saw this getting before. Josh Hutchison, the pizzeria. Body. Oh, how scary does that look, guys? Oh, he's turned the power on. Oh, the office, all the monitors, all on stage on like FNAF 1. Oh, Was that Freddy so behind him then? Together. Oh, yo! Yo! The Foxy Shadow Freddy! All the... Oh my God, what was that? What was that? The ball pit into the pit! There's Piper. It's a Foxy! Foxy's hunting Piper. Five Nights at Freddy's logo. Oh my God, that was so quick. That was so quick to process. I'm so like, that is everybody's brain watching through that teaser trailer. There's so much going on. It's such a short amount of time, like different scenes all over the place. It doesn't show too much, but it also gives you glimpses of the animatronics and glimpses of what's going to happen. Uh, Mike, Josh Hutchison being at the pizzeria, turning the power on. The camera monitors just like FNAF 1. Crazy details. People are going to love that man oh my god that was amazing that was a great first teaser trailer i think everybody's going to be happy with that man uh scott blumhouse universal great first trailer not too much shown but that it makes the hype explode, man. If you didn't know, guys, we were at the film set a couple of months ago. So some of these scenes are in the trailer. I've walked around and filmed and stuff for you guys in the future whenever that, whenever I'm allowed to release that stuff. Some of the set and the environment that we're in this trailer I've seen, but some other stuff like the, the woods scene, like they're in the woods. I've never seen that before. So... Um, let's, 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 let's go through it. Okay, so first off, I'm really happy about this. We got a vintage training tape. Um, I think it's a commercial. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Fazbear's Pizzeria. Fantasy and fun come to Where life. fantasy and fun come to life at the showtime button as well, which was awesome to see. So this looks like, yeah, it's the same pizzeria. Oh, look at Foxy Plushie. That's so cool. Um, yeah, the, the ball pits the same and stuff, but this is this is how it was. This is how it used to be. Um, but I love this. We've all got the the FNAF badges on. That's so cool. The Let's Eat badge. We won't call Josh by his his actual name. Let's go with the let's go with the the actual character name. So Mike. This this is this might be like at the start of the film or something. That would be really cool to introduce the film, showing how it used to be, or maybe like Mike finds a tape or it gets played for him. Uh, to introduce his job and stuff. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this looks vintage. This looks awesome. Seeing the pizzeria how it used to be before Mike goes in and, you know, does the night shift. The showtime button, though. Oh, my God. Guys, the showtime button's finally back. Yes. This is from FNAF VR, guys. It's so cool. You press the showtime button. And let's have a look. There's Chica on the right. There's Freddy. Oh, wow. So this is the first look of the animatronics, guys. And as you can see, look at that. So here's Freddy blinking. Look at that. Look at the animation. He's, he's only blinking. He's blinking. And he looks so cool. We told you guys, didn't we, that the animatronics for this movie look spot on. They look absolutely amazing. Um, when I walked in, seeing them for the first time, they, it, it was just weird, man. It, it, it looked like the models of the game were stood there. And they look so cool, man. So here's Freddy and Chica. After when Freddy blinks, we get another shot of the actual show stage with Bonnie, Freddy, and Chica all together with the lights. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. It looks insane. 
It blows my mind. This looks like it's been recorded in game. Like a FNAF 1 remastered or something. Look at Bonnie as well. I like it, right? How the lights go from left to right uh, from the stage perspective or right to left from our view. Uh, the, the light hovers over each animatronic so you get a glimpse of them. Here's Chica first. Looking absolutely amazing. I don't really need to explain much, do I? I? I can't really say in detail. Like, oh, there's Chica's tuft of hair. You guys know they look good, so I don't really need to go into that. You know, it's it's the FNAF 1 model of the animatronics, right? Uh, Freddy looks awesome as well. You can see bon uh, Bonnie's ears are moving. You see that? Which is really cool. And then the light goes on to Bonnie. Uh, they all look great. They really do, man. They look absolutely awesome. And look at the movement. Look at the movement. Look how robotic they look with Freddy turning and Bonnie leaning. I'm going to just keep showing this back and forth. Like, look at the movement here. So then we get the static and then we get the first glimpse of the pizzeria outside. And as you can see, the sign says closed. This again shows that the pizzeria is closed right now. It's been closed for a long time uh, because you can see that growth um, of vines are wrapping around the sign and the, the light poles everywhere and the location. Slow glimpse. Let's get a slow of the pizzeria. Look at that, man. It looks so cool. It looks amazing. It really does. Here's our first sighting of Josh Hutcherson playing as Mike Schmidt. Um, walking into the pizzeria for the first time by the looks of things and seeing what the hell's going on here. And he's got his trusty old flashlight with him as well. Uh, the pizzeria, by the way, look at the brick wall. The checkered pattern on the wall as well looking awesome. Um, it looks like he's coming in from into the, the whole pizzeria set, like the, the dining room and the stage and everything, um, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Okay. So here's another really cool shot, guys, of the dining room, the prize corner, and the kitchen. There's also some drawings here on the left. But as you can see, these are like stained glass windows of Chica and Bonnie, which is really cool, where people eat. Here's the prize corner, though. The prize corner looks awesome. So there is a prize corner in this location. And the kitchen as well. So that's a kitchen. Like we said before, guys, uh, this whole set is the pizzeria. So you can walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is a kitchen. And, you know, this, this is the corridor that goes down into the office as well. Um, so down here is where the office is. Uh, by the way, Scott did say uh, during the trailer we can talk about what we saw on set and stuff as well. Um, so, yeah, he already gave us permission to talk about it a little bit. But, yeah, man, look at that flashlight as well. Look how dark and creepy it looks, man. The neon sign of prizes and the exit sign. I thought this scene was the creepiest part of, the, of this teaser trailer, man. Just imagine being on your own at this pizzeria with just your flashlight. And you open this curtain and you see Bonnie just there, lifeless. Not even looking at him. I think that's even creepier. That, that, that the animatronics are just there, lifeless, not even look, not, not even looking at him. What might happen, though, is that maybe Bonnie might look at him a little bit or something. I don't know. Or maybe they'll just be lifeless for, for now uh, to show, you know, that nothing's happening. Uh, but, yeah, um, Josh looks like, what the heck? What the heck is going on here? What are these animatronics doing? I'd be terrified. I would be terrified doing this, man. I would be terrified to open that curtain. And I'd just keep it closed. I, would just, I wouldn't even look around. I'd just go straight into the office. Uh, but he takes another look. He moves his flashlight down to the rest of the animatronics. And there's Freddy. And th that's so creepy, guys. I really do think that this is the creepiest scene of this trailer to me, personally. That they just look so lifeless. They're just not activated. They're just there. It's, they're either going to make, like, one of the animatronics twitch or something or maybe move a little bit. Uh, but I don't know. I don't think they'll do that at the start of the film when Josh is first... When Mike is first introduced to the animatronics, I don't think they're going to move, but we'll see. Maybe they'll move after when he walks away so he doesn't see it. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's really cool, man. Really creepy scene. And there's a, another view of the flashlight of Chica with Carl the Cupcake. So Mike is turning on the power of the full power of the location now. So some of the lights were already on, as we saw earlier. But he's turning on uh, the generator now to activate all the power. Behind Mike as well, there is the Celebrate poster. The OG Celebrate poster from FNAF 1, which is really cool. So Mike turns on the power. He's a little bit, you know, looks a, bit, a little bit worried about it, actually. He turns it on. He's a little bit worried. And here it is, guys. So here it is. The power gets activated to the, to the whole location. And this is the beautiful neon sign 
of Freddy Fazbear's that we've seen before. But like I said earlier, guys, all the vines, all the growth wrapped around the sign, showing that this place is, you know, closed, abandoned. One of the biggest questions, though, is that why is Mike here? Why, if it's closed, like, why, is, why do they still want to hire a security guard? Which is really interesting. Here's the sign, guys. Looking absolutely awesome. Of Freddy Fazbear's. Close, beautiful shot of the sign. Now, this is what's cool, guys. All of the monitors. All of the monitors are back inside of the office, which looks really, really cool. And as you can see, the Celebrate poster is here as well. The fan, the fan, the beautiful fan has returned. And in the FNAF movie, the fan is here. The cup as well, man, the drink cup. Uh, there's other stuff as well here as well. Um, there's like the cartoon uh, versions of the gang, the FNAF gang. Uh, there's also something here as well. Thank you, management. Uh, but yeah, the monitors, guys. Like, there's even outside monitors as well. You can see here, this is all from outside. Here with the outside lights and stuff. This, this, is, this is the outside door. Um, and this is like the car park area. This is a hallway that's in the pizzeria by the looks of things. And um, this is a hallway. We've got one of the dining room by the looks of things. Another hallway. Uh, the cleaning. Oh my God, guys. Look how accurate that looks, man. That looks perfectly accurate to the FNAF 1 cleaning closet, the supply closet. No, this is the show stage, actually, because I think you can just about see the showtime button. And if I remember, yeah, I think this is the show stage, not Pirate's Cove. Um, I don't know what this one is here, though. Um, and this is the this is the arcade area. And this is the ball pit, I'm pretty sure, uh, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, really cool shot of the monitors, just like FNAF 1, looking absolutely hard. This scene, this part looks so cool. This is so accurate to the games. And I'm so happy that, I'm so happy that they did this, man. This is such a great callback to FNAF 1. Loads of people are going to be really happy with this after playing FNAF 1. Even when the curtains are closed, there is a camera on the show stage. And it looks so good. Bonnie here. Freddy and Chica in their perfect positions, just like FNAF 1. Oh, so many people are going to be so happy with this. It looks amazing. It looks so cool. A bit emotional, actually. Uh, how, how amazing and accurate this is. It, it, it's, it's insane. It's insane. And a closer look at the supply closet as well. With, of course, the light bulb as well. They even added the light bulb, just like FNAF 1. No! Nothing, no movement. Um, Bonnie's eyes are open and stuff. Uh, I, I thought like Bonnie opened his eyes, but no. It happened for a glimpse of a second when Mike is looking around. I'm pretty sure I saw an animatronic behind him and I, I thought it looked like Freddy. It is Freddy. So Freddy Fazbear is lurking behind Mike while he's looking around. I don't know what happens here. I don't know what happens, but Mike looks terrified, man. He looks so scared. Maybe he looks back at the stage. Maybe the curtains are open. And he looks back at the stage and Freddy's gone. And then Freddy's behind him or something. Uh, but I don't know what's going to happen here. Is Mike going to turn around and just see Freddy staring at him? Just lifeless like that. Just staring. Or is Freddy going to do something? Is he going to, like, try and attack him? I don't know. But this still looks like it's the start of the movie, so... Um, maybe Freddy does try and attack him or does something creepy and Mike runs back to the office or something. I don't know. Freddy doesn't look that angry at the moment. Freddy just looks like he wants to see who it is who's arrived at the pizzeria for the first time in a long time. Uh, but yeah, that's so cool. That's such a cool shot. That's such a cool shot of Freddy lurking in the background. Then we get some more static. Then we get the commercial again. I need to play this again, guys. We're going to have so much fun together. We're going to have so much fun together. Now, what is happening here? So it looks like Mike, Mike has got captured by somebody in this device. This really creepy... Oh, my God. Mike looks... I keep calling him Josh. Sorry. Uh, Mike looks absolutely terrified. Now, what is this? What is this device? This looks absolutely terrifying. And this is new. This is completely new here. This crazy, de like, device uh, that's going to attack Mike. Um, so, Mike's been strapped into this machine, this device. Uh, it looks like Mike... It could be somebody else. No, I think this is this has got to be Mike because yeah, it's got to be Mike because it's, it's the reaction after this. Like he look, he looks down at him, it, uh, his arm being clamped. So his arm has been clamped on this machine, and he's like, "What the heck?" Wait, hold on. Let me look at his uniform. His uniform's like blue. 
Interesting. Okay. This scene where Mike is captured um, must be after or it's somebody else um, because he's not wearing a security guard shirt and tie uh, in this scene when he's first introduced to the pizzeria. But I don't know if this is... I don't know if this is Josh Hutcherson now. Um, this is definitely Mike. Obviously, this is definitely Josh. Later on in the movie gets captured or this is somebody else. Like, this is somebody else. Sorry, not... His, his hands look old as well. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, later on in the scene or this is somebody else. And then this is another scene where Mike gets captured. But what is this, guys? This is like this is a this is a mask that's been. Yeah, it's gonna go go to his face. This is gonna go up to his face and grind him to death. Look at that. That is crazy. Imagine how painful that would be. Oh my god! Like that's in the mouth area as well. So the like that is gonna cut up all of his mouth here. Oh my god! That's horrible. That is horrible. And that would be so painful, man. The only thing I could think of is William. I don't think anybody else would do something like this. But yeah, this is something that somebody's made to kill people, basically. We get a really cool shot. That is the shadow of Foxy the pirate on an open door. You can see Foxy here. A really cool shadow of Foxy. So Foxy is hunting somebody down right here. So Foxy is off his stage in the hallway by the looks of things. And there's just a shadow of him on the door. So he's after somebody here. Then here's our first shot of Piper, who is playing Abby in the movie. Mike Schmidt's younger sister. Abby is here. Um, I think, yeah, this is where the show stage is. So this is when Abby, uh, maybe the first time coming to the pizzeria. Oh, here it is. Look at this. Oh, look at that. So, yeah, this must be it, guys. So, Abby goes into the pizzeria and sees that the curtains are just about open. They've opened up. And Freddy is here. And his eyes get activated with this, like, creepy orange glow to them. Which is really, really creepy, man. I think those two scenes are together. Abby walks in. The curtains are open a little bit. And Abby's like, what is going on? And then she sees Freddy for the first time and his, his eyes light up. Now, remember, Mike probably knew about this pizzeria when he was younger. But Abby, you know, if this if this location has been abandoned for like 20 years, this is the first time Abby has probably seen this location and seen these animatronics. So, you know, Abby probably doesn't know about the, the, the horrible past that happened with William Afton killing kids. You know, this is the first time Abby's going to see these cute, friendly animatronic. So she's not going to know anything what's going on. First uh, appearance of Elizabeth Lyle, who is playing Vanessa in the movie. So I don't really... I can't... Oh, she's actually at the pizzeria, I've just realised. So Vanessa is going to be at the pizzeria. Um, now, this is interesting. This is the first time I've seen this because this is, wasn't at the set or anything. It, these, these are going to be the spirits, the, the five victims of William Afton. Now, if you look closely, it's got to be because... If you look closely, guys, you can see that each kid represents the animatronic. You can see here, this one has got Bonnie ears, so representing Bonnie. Um, I can't really tell who, who this would be. Um, it's got blonde hair, so I thought, thought of Golden Freddy. Um, I think it is Golden Freddy, actually. Um, you can see here, this dude's got... I think he's holding a hook. This looks like he's, uh, this, this kid's holding a hook, and he's got like an orange-red theme. So, yeah, I think this is Bonnie, Golden Freddy, Foxy. Yeah, this is Freddy. So, Freddy's got a top hat on. And this is Chica. You can see Chica. Uh, this girl has got, like, a yellow yellow trousers, yellow shirt with a white center representing the bib. Um, yeah, these are definitely the five missing kids. The Golden Freddy, Bonnie, Foxy, Freddy Fazbear, and Chica. Wow. This is so cool. And it's in daytime as well, which is interesting. I don't know why Mike Schmidt is in the woods here. Um, maybe, it's, it's, I don't know. Maybe this is where they live, actually. Maybe this is Josh's house or some, Mike's house, sorry. We know in the FNAF 4, uh, the FNAF 4 games, the FNAF 4 house is in the woods somewhere. So maybe this is where Mike lives. I don't know. Um, yeah, there's five missing kids running away, which is really, really cool. <gasps> I didn't even see this! William Afton! William Afton, I was so freaking hyped about the freaking five missing kids. I didn't even react to William Afton. Our first glimpse of Matthew Lillard playing as William Afton. And it looks like he's in an office. 
So what is he doing? He looks so friendly here. He looks so chill. What's he doing? Where, where is he? He's, he's definitely in an office. So maybe he's at like the Freddy Fazbear, Fazbear Entertainment's office. I don't know. Or maybe he's got an office at his, at, at his house or something. But yeah, this is our first glimpse of William Afton. And as you can see, he looks quite friendly. He looks quite chill. I can't, don't know what this is going to be. Is this like the job interview? Is this when Mike goes for the job interview to be the security guard? Or is this when the police come in? Maybe he's getting investigated right now. And, and William Afton's like, yeah. I don't know anything about those missing kids. It's really unfortunate, but I have nothing to do with it. I don't know. It's when the police come in and investigate him. Is this a job interview? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But they, this is our first glimpse of William Afton. You know, the first glimpse of William Afton, Matthew Lillard. Uh, it looks awesome. We get another shot of Mike in the woods. I don't know what he's looking at. I think this is when he gets scared by the five missing kids or something. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I didn't even see this. So, guys, see, I told you, there's so much going on in this that you miss your first reaction. You miss a lot. See, I think this is when Mike gets scared by one of the missing kids or something. Maybe they run away. He turns around and he sees one of the missing kids. I don't know. And he gets jump scared. Uh, but yeah, look, guys, look, look at this. So this is the security guard, another security guard. And if you see... Look at his outfit. It's the same outfit that was earlier when, when he got clamped in. Um, so it looks like this, this this security guard gets killed. He gets absolutely destroyed by somebody. Now, is it Freddy? Is it Chica? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see, guys. But yeah, he's definitely getting jump scared by somebody. Who is he getting jump scared by? Uh, he's at the pizzeria, by the way. He's definitely at the pizzeria. You can see the exit as well. It looks like he's trying to get out. Um, but yeah, interesting. He's got the same uniform on as the um, when it, when somebody gets clamped into that device. Uh, an endoskeleton foot, ball pit balls on the floor. It's Foxy. That is definitely Foxy here, guys. He squishes a ball. Does he? He squishes a freaking ball pit ball. How dare you, Foxy? So this is when Piper is in the ball pit. And she's hiding from somebody. She looks absolutely terrified. So if Fox is there, squishing a ball, Piper is in a different outfit. So this must take place later on. So Abby is down into the ball pit hiding. And she's hiding, waiting. And she looks up. Bam! That is Foxy, guys. So Foxy is freaking after Piper. So that is really creepy. Me and the, me and the guys... Uh, actually went into the ball pit, uh, which I can't wait to show you guys. We jump, uh, jumped into the ball pit, and it is deep, man. I'm telling you now, that ball pit is freaking deep. I'm excited to show you guys some of the behind the scenes uh, of the set and stuff. But yeah, we we went into the ball pit, and it was it was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely Foxy. Now it looks like Piper looks up. Uh, maybe uh, Abby gets caught here. Um, it looks like yeah. His jaw opens, guys. Foxy's jaw opens. So it looks like Abby gets caught by Foxy here. I don't know, though. We'll have to wait and see. Then we get another shot of Freddy, a real close-up of Freddy Fazbear. And as you can see, it looks awesome, right? It looks absolutely amazing. And both on Foxy and Freddy, at the end of these scenes, they've got red eyes. So they are not happy. They're angry. Um, I think at the, when, when, at the start... Uh, Freddy's eyes will look orange, not red, so I don't know. And definitely on stage, uh, they didn't look red at the start of the commercial. I know you guys are going to be happy with these animatronics. They look so good. And then, I've, yeah, here we go again. So I don't know what Freddy's doing here. It looks like he's looking down at somebody. So maybe he's looking down at um, Mike or the night guard, the security guard that we saw earlier, or uh, Abby, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, another shot of... Oh, we get Bonnie as well. Yeah, guys, they're all angry, man. Bonnie looks really angry here. This is the same scene again. So, Freddy and Bonnie are both here. Um, looking down at somebody. Uh, but yeah, they don't look happy. They look angry. So, something's happened here. That's ticked off the animatronics. Because um, they are not happy at all. Yeah, some both really cool shots of Bonnie and Freddy. So we get a good glimpse, really, um, of all of the animatronics in this teaser trailer. Not too much either. So we get to see Foxy's shadow. Um, 
and Foxy behind the balls in the ball pit. So we don't get to see Foxy fully. We get to see his endo legs and stuff. And we get to see Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy. We don't... I don't think we get a close-up of Chica. But we still get some shots of Chica on the stage and stuff. So, yeah. Um, and here's the logo, by the way. It is called Five Nights at Freddy's. I know some people were thinking it was going to be called something else, but no. It is called Five Nights at Freddy's. And that logo looks awesome. It really does, with the neon lights flickering. In theatres, October 27th, Five Nights at Freddy's. Movie, Universal logo and everything. It's happening, guys. It's here. October 27th, which is really close, by the way. Really, really close. And that's it. That is the end of the trailer. I've been talking for a really long time, but like I said... There were so many scenes to talk about, man. And so many hidden details that we needed to discuss. Um, but yeah, guys, amazing teaser trailer. Doesn't show too much. It is a teaser trailer. But I think it gets the picture across. It really does. It gets the message across. It's going to be creepy. Um, I'm really excited. And uh, guys, I'm, I'm pretty sure 99% of fans uh, are going to be really happy with this trailer. I'm, I'm really impressed. I think it's come out really cool. Um, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for Scott. I'm so happy for Blumhouse and Universal. Imagine how nervous Scott would, was going to be. Like, imagine the nerves of Scott. I, 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 Scott, if you're watching, you should be proud, man. Like, if this was my baby, like, you know, if this was my franchise and seeing something like this, I would get really emotional. I'm, I'm, I'm emotional myself, you know, playing the games for nearly 10 years now. Seeing this come to life, after the freaking movie was announced years and years ago. And it's finally here. And it's coming out in five months. Like, it's 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 really, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It really is. And I'm speechless. I really am. There's nothing else much to say. Um, just the, the trailer just shows it, you know. There you go, guys. That was my reaction. First reaction. I know my first reaction was a bit all over the place. It's because so much stuff was going on. You know, all the different scenes every every second. Um, so there's a lot to take in. I can't believe I missed William Afton. Uh, uh, it just went so quickly. My brain couldn't process it. But yeah, really cool trailer. Showing all the characters, all the animatronics, and some scenes too. Uh, perfect trailer. 10 out of 10. Take care, guys. Lots of love. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, please. Are you happy with the animatronics? Are you happy with this? I think it's perfect. I think this is a perfect teaser trailer. And this is going to be shown in theatres. And I think people who don't know... Uh, the games um, are going to be, you know, excited to see this as well. I think it gets the it gets gets everything that needs to, you know, needs to be shown um, for a teaser trailer. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the, the full trailer, man. Take care, lots of love, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.